इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स डेंसिटी इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स डेंसिटी के लिए वी टेक अ फॉर्मूला ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी कैपिटल ई दैट इज इक्वल्स टू क्यू अपॉन फोर पाइप नॉट आर स्क्वायर इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ आर एंड इट्स यूनिट इज न्यूटन पल्स परकुलम नाउ इन दिस वी टेक एप्सल इन नॉट टू द लेफ्ट साइड and it becomes epsilon not e that is equals to q upon 4 pi r square in the direction of r and this 4 pi r square is is the surface area of the sphere so what is this sphere okay now we take a charge positive charge plus q Located at the origin on x y z plane. Since this is a positive charge, so so electric field is originated and terminate to infinity. Since there is no negative charge, so electric field is originated from positive charge and terminate to infinity. So around this positive charge, we assume a sphere. and that sphere has a surface area of 4 pi r square means we take a sphere having a radius of r okay now this r having a unit vector er now the electric field lines passing through this surface represents a electric flux so we can say that the electric flux line passing through these this surface so this q upon 4 pi r square that is charge q is the charge and 4 pi r square is the area the charge upon area that is called electric flux density it is represented by capital d and it is a vector quantity and its value is epsilon not e so electric flux density d is equals to epsilon not e the unit of d electric flux density that is charge charge is coulomb and area is meter square the unit of d is coulomb per meter square and this is also a unit of surface charge density that is rho s so the electric flux electric flux is denoted by psi and it is a electric flux lines passing through some surface when there is no negative negative charge so it is terminated to infinity so from this figure we assume a sphere of radius r now on this sphere we take a small differential surface ds this ds having a normal direction the flux line passing through this surface area is a small flux that is called d psi so the value of d psi is simply a dot product of d and ds vector so it becomes a small flux to find the total flux we take a surface integration so it becomes psi equals to surface integration d dot ds here d electric flux density d measured in coulombs per meter square and uh, this the dot product of two vector is a scalar quantity so the flux is measured in coulomb same as charge and it is a scalar quantity so we can say that flux is the number of lines that pass through the surface and it is a scalar quantity so this electric flux density vector d is equals to epsilon not e epsilon not e means we take a electric field in a free space 
or vacuum it is also called displacement flux density in case when there is an end dielectric medium so this electric flux density d equals to epsilon e and epsilon is equals to epsilon naught epsilon r so this formula becomes epsilon naught epsilon r electric field intensity e in case of free space epsilon r relative permittivity epsilon r is equals to 1 as we know that the electric field intensity due to infinite line is equals to rho l upon 2 pi epsilon naught r in the direction of r so, in case of infinite line, the electric flow density D is equals to epsilon naught E. So, we take epsilon naught to the left side and it becomes the formula of electric flow density for infinite line. That is equals to rho L upon 2 pi R unit vector R. In case of infinite sheet, the electric field intensity is rho S upon 2 epsilon naught in the di normal direction and the electric flux density d equals to epsilon naught e that is rho s upon 2 in normal direction similarly the point charge the electric field intensity is q upon 4 pi epsilon naught r square in the direction of r so in this case the electric flux density d equals to epsilon naught e that is equals to q upon 4 pi r square in the direction of r so you you should remember this formula for the numerical part now we take a numerical portion determine vector d at 403 coordinate if there is a point charge minus 5 pi milli coulomb at 400 coordinate and a line charge 3 pi milli coulomb per meter along the y axis so according to the question we have to determine the electric flux density d at 403 coordinate since it is a cartesian coordinate system due to point charge point charge is minus 5 pi milli coulomb negative charge and its coordinates are 400 400 means y and z axis is 0 that is this point is on x axis and a line charge line charge 3 pi milli coulomb per meter along the y axis so there is a line infinite line that is along y axis and its line charge density is 3 pi milli coulomb per meter so this is about question and we have to determine the electric flux density d at 403 so at this point electric flux density d is equals to the summation of electric flux density due to point charge plus electric flux density due to line charge so one by one we calculate individually and at the last we add it to get the answer so first is electric flux density due to point charge so the electric flux density due to point charge the formula is q upon 4 pi r square in the direction of r capital r so the capital r vector is equals to final point minus initial point that is 403 coordinate minus 400 coordinate that is 003 coordinate so x and y coordinate is 0 and it has only z that is 3 is a unit vector so the magnitude part of this r vector is 3 so from here we get a unit vector r that is vector upon its magnitude and here vector is 3 is z upon 3 that is az so in place of unit vector r we can write az now from formula q upon 4 pi r square and unit vector is vector upon its magnitude so after putting this we get q vector r upon 4 pi r cube after putting these values and the magnitude r that is 3 
we get a electric flux density due to point charge that is minus 0.138 in vector z milli coulomb per meter square the unit is important here now second is line charge the electric flux density due to the line charge since this line is of infinite length so we take a midpoint that is at the origin the origin of this line is 0 0 0 so in this case the distance r vector that is equals to 4 0 3 coordinate minus 0 0 0 coordinate that is the vector r small r equals equals to 4 ax plus 3 az and after putting this in electric flow density due to line is rho L upon 4, 2 pi r unit vector r that is equals to unit vector r equals to vector upon its magnitude so it becomes vector r upon r square after putting the values we get a electric flux density due to line is 0 0.24 unit vector x plus 0 0.18 unit vector z milli coulomb per meter square now we have to determine the electric flux density due to both charges so we add it and we get the answer that is 240 ax plus 42 az micro coulomb per meter square next question is a point charge of 30 nano coulomb is located at the origin while plane y equals to 3 carries charge 10 nano coulomb per meter square find electric flux density d at 0 4 3 coordinate in this case there is a point charge 30 nano coulomb located at origin and there is a plane y equals to 3 y equals to 3 means parallel to xz plane and its surface charge density is 10 nano coulomb per meter square so one by one we have to determine electric flux density due to point charge and due to surface charge density the formula is dq plus d rho s dq formula is q upon 4 pi r square unit vector r and for surface charge density electric flux density due to surface charge that is equal to rho s upon 2 normal direction now after putting these values and the distance between this this point and q is 4ay plus 3az the normal direction of this surface this plane is along y direction so the normal unit vector is equals to unit vector y so in place of unit vector normal unit vector we write unit vector y so after calculating this we get electric flux density 5.076 unit vector y plus 0 0.0573 unit vector